Scotland, a legend in his own right. I'm sure you've had many occasions to meet him in tournaments in your time. Oh, everything from junior all the way through senior <laughs> competitions. Sick of the guy. <laughs> So this is the final of the men under 100. Kapolek of Czech in blue and Domanski of Poland in the white. And these two really deserving of their places in the final. Both players not really wanting to commit too quickly. Very tactical match and a slow pace at the moment. Very poor attempt of a drop C and Aggie with Domanski. Kapolek with a uh, big height advantage, yes. but um, he's not using it that well. It's got very oh. And that's the thing that uh, Demans has got to watch. He's got a habit of doing that drop C and Nagy once too often. And uh, he will get countered with it by these stronger bigger stronger opponents there's a couple of times against uh, Gasimov where he was almost countered and penalized for dropping Kapolek looking for the Sutemi was up but he's run out of mat Domanski's got to be very careful of that left arm that's been thrown right over the top the reach of the check is is very good. The long long limbs is going to be to the advantage of hooking in and getting close without actually committing too much. Oh, a nice the turn Jackson. from Domanski. And Kapolek is the uh, current world champion in this category. He won it in Bangkok right. last year and he was 17 last year when he won it. So he's still a baby. God, doesn't that make so you feel old? You know, he's just 18. <laughs> What a future he's got. Oh, amazing. The maturity of the judo already at this age. Holding mm. those Throws sides. deep. It's Again, that looking for that. Uh, danger. Yep. I think um, Kapalek is the only one capable now of uh, repeating a junior world championship win Kagaya of Japan lost out in the semi-final to the girl from Kosovo Kelmendi yesterday she was on her way to the final and saw the Kosovan upset her so Kapalek with um, Kayla Harrison having fallen at the last hurdle is the only one that can retain his junior world title here now the only danger I see with Kapelik is throwing that left arm over the top. The Damascus with the drop, Sianagi. That was close from Kapelik. Big Osoto. And uh, Damansky was going. He's really tiring now. He's uh, Damansky. And Kapelik just seems to be building up a big head of steam. And Damansky, his face is so red at the moment but he's got that dangerous Sianagi and if Kapelik comes over the top and throws himself at it to try and win at the last last within the last minute the danger is he could get dropped with the drop Sianagi yep correct minute and 12 remaining Domanski's not rushing this belt time no he I'm needs every <laughs> gasp of air he can get and Kapelik again throws deep Ouchigari attack 
and uh, Demansi's got to be careful here he's already behind he doesn't want another penalty very lucky to get off that and actually, I didn't realise that Demanski was winning. He's, um, yes. It's Kapalek who's got the two That's penalties against him. Yeah. I hadn't seen that. What were they for? Passivity. Passivity. Kapalek. So the Polish player's going to get it now. Yeah. So it's level. The problem is in the early stages, Kapalek was getting... It's all over. He's got him. It's all, yeah, it's all, all over right. now. He throws him, gets the Wazari, and he does it every time. <laughs> Second world title coming up. And he looks at the clock and he knows he's got it. <laughs> yeah. He does it every time. And you can see that um, Vladimir Barta, who's sitting down on the left there, just had a heart attack because he could see the gold medal disappearing. But there it is. Kapalek wins world title number two. And uh, so many of the people that won in Bangkok have come back here this year and won again. Well, they've won medals, yeah. but Kapalik's the only one to, to retain his title. Retain no, he's not. The Brazilian girl uh, retained her title as well. There's a, there was another girl, either Brazilian or another nationality, who's come back and won the title. Well, the Japanese in the under 52 kilo category uh, was the only one that I could see... Um, when I first had a look at the list, it could be Sarah Menezes, some Menezes that's sorry, what I'm Sarah Menezes about. on yeah. day one. Yeah, that's right. Because there were two on day one who could do it, Menezes and Kagaya. Kagaya fell at the last hurdle, and it was Menezes, Menezes that did it. So that's the second one so far. Menezes of Brazil, under 48 kilos, and now Lucas Kapalik uh, at under 100 but um, if anyone can give you a heart attack, it's Kapalik. Only just managed.